And thousands more manufacturing jobs are coming to the volunteer state thanks to a historic investment by Ford. A new manufacturing facility is coming to West Tennessee to make all electric F 150s. News Channel 5's Chris Davis takes an in depth look at how this positions Tennessee as a leader in the electric car movement. He's joining us live from downtown. Chris. Well, Carrie, this is pretty amazing to think about. In just eight years, 150,000 electric cars have been manufactured right here in Tennessee, and Ford will only add to that number. But it begs the question, why are so many car makers choosing Tennessee? It really probably goes back to Nissan. In 2013, the first electric car rolled off the assembly line at Nissan's plant in Smyrna the first spark of an electric revolution in Tennessee. Since then, Volkswagen in Chattanooga and General Motors in Spring Hill have launched their own locally made electric models. This will go down as the largest project in the state of Tennessee's history. But the new Ford assembly plant in rural West Tennessee, dubbed the Blue Oval City, will be the biggest. It's a $5.6 million investment bringing in 6,000 new jobs, and it will only make electric vehicles. Tennessee has attracted more than our fair share of wins, which we're very excited about. The state's business development chief says it's Tennessee's economy that is the powerhouse behind this movement. There's no personal income tax. It's the business-friendly nature of our state. It's the fiscal responsibility and our fiscal balance sheet uh, at the state. But Bob Rolfe also admits massive incentives to Ford paid by your tax dollars definitely went a long way. Uh, $500 million is an enormous incentive for any project. He argues it's worth every penny between providing high paying jobs for generations and the other businesses major car makers can attract. And then you have about a thousand what I'll call tier one, tier two, tier three suppliers that wrap around and support uh, these automotive plants. So this is probably our largest advanced manufacturing GDP driver across the state. So with that in mind, he hopes this surge continues. We have positioned ourselves to win our fair share of these projects. Pretty soon you're going to start seeing more charging ports around the area. On your screen right now, you should see red dots. Where those dots are are where existing EV charging stations already are. But the state wants to add 50 more over the course of the next three to five years. That includes one at every single state park across our area. When it's all said and done, we should have a charging station every 50 miles on Tennessee roadways. Reporting live downtown, Chris Davis, News Channel 5.